So what exactly am I outrunning and how does one outrun anything in a car? Such are the deep philosophical questions posed by outrunners for the Sega Genesis. Originally released to arcades in 1992, Outrunners was kind of a return to form for Sega's Outrun series. 1989's Turbo Outrun veered off the road a bit in terms of the style set by the original Outrun, so with Outrunners, Sega really made an effort to restore that vibe of casual, insouciant cruising down a sunny highway. And, uh, mission accomplished, Sega. This is like the video game adaptation of the Beach Boys' life story. At least it is in the arcades. On the Genesis, it's more like Bermuda, Bahama, why is the fucking screen squashed? And that's one of the biggest problems with this Genesis version of Outrunners. When porting it to Sega's console, Data East made the decision to maintain a split screen view throughout the whole game. Whether you're cruising alone or with a friend, the screen is sliced in half, and as a result, the game looks pretty sliced as well. It's a real shame because Outrunners is a gorgeous game in the arcades, but this Genesis port loses more horsepower than it should. I mean, you'd expect arcade games to be stripped down when they move to a home console, but this one really goes the extra mile. In the wrong direction. The cramped view of the race affects more than just the graphics. Because the window is so flattened, it's almost impossible to see what's ahead. Turns in the road seem to come out of nowhere because, unless you have a crystal ball and a Ouija board, you just can't see them coming. Of course, in that case, you would have known this is a bad port and you wouldn't be playing it in the first place. But for what it's worth, most of the features are at least intact in this Genesis port. The soundtrack includes remixed songs from the original Outrun and a slew of new music, just like in the arcades, and the game itself is basically the same. Outrunners is a race on a branching system of roads, and as you play, your route changes based on which turns you take when the road forks. That's the feature that's always defined the Outrun series, and in Outrunners, it was more elaborate than ever before. The first split in the road leads to either San Francisco or the Grand Canyon, and each of those starting points sets you on a different path through the game, filled with even more forks and branches of their own. You can play through Outrunners five times and experience five different level progressions, which gives it loads of replay value as well as the defining characteristic of the series. It's just that playing it five times is a lot easier in the arcade than on your Sega Genesis. If you want to experience Outrunners at its best, track down its original model. Again, this game was donated to Undertow by our pal Mohammed from Qatar, who really came through with some awesome games for us. Thanks again, Mohammed. You know, it's really hard for me to criticize a game as cool as Outrunners, but to a lot of fans, this isn't really Outrunners. With poor graphics, a squashed screen, and bad controls, this late Genesis port of Outrunners isn't so much a cruiser as it is a lemon. <laughs>